Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to help you uninstall software. So it's called ONO App Buster. So I'll show you how it works here. Alright, so there's nothing to install. You just download the executable and run it, which I have running here. So you can see here we have 78 apps, 57 hidden, and 11 that cannot be installed. And up here at the top, you could decide what you want to have shown. So then you'll see the number change as I select more. So if I add system apps, now there's 122. And if I add framework apps, 135. So it's a little hard to narrow down. So what you really need to do is, let's say you want to see all the system apps. Best bet is just to come here and uncheck the other ones. And now you just have your system apps. And you can see here that these are just for informational purposes and they're unremovable just to show you what you have installed here and the same for the framework apps like so and there's this one here which is installable because I uninstalled it and it was the type of app that you could actually have it reinstall once you uninstall it all right so let's go back to the default settings here all right, then if we go to the Windows settings under apps, you can see we have 47 apps. So there's a lot more showing here, 78 just for the desktop apps and Windows apps. And of course, you could come here and hide apps from Microsoft, and that'll narrow down your list here. So now we just have desktop apps here instead of Microsoft apps. And if we want to do the opposite here, we could just uh, turn off desktop apps and we just have some. Windows apps here. And then we can uncheck that to show some of the uh, default ones. Alright, so before we try it out here, let's go through some of these other menus here. You have the refresh and exit. It has some recommendations here. So these are recommended for removal and these are optional for removal. So if you check this here, it'll check the boxes for all the ones that are recommended. And you can just come up here and clear it. And the same for recommended, select all windows, apps. Just do it like that. And same with select all desktop apps. Alright, then we have some actions here. So install apps if there is one that you remove that's actually reinstallable, you could do that. Copy to clipboard. Let's say you selected something here, 7-zip. You copy that to the clipboard or browse the folder, but this that doesn't seem to work every time. You could also select it, click on Properties, and then Browse Folder. That seems to work better. Not sure why that doesn't work all the time, but it might work for you. And you could create a System Restore Point, assuming System Restore is enabled. And if you do create a System Restore Point and then you uninstall something, you could roll back to that System Restore Point and have it restored. Then we have some options here to group by type. So we have our Desktop Apps and Windows Apps. And framework apps and system apps. Then we could have it only show the apps with recommendations, like that. And then we have some help. So this guide is, you know, pretty good. It's short, but if you want to get an idea of how it works here with, you know, with the icons, which are shown over here on the side, over here, and you also get how many users it's installed for, and the storage, and the type, and so on. And it tells you about the Windows apps, the desktop apps, and the system apps. You can see how it says they cannot be installed. It tells you about system restore points, and so on. All right, so now let's try to remove something. All right, let's say we don't want Free Commander any longer, and we don't want Game Bar. And we don't want solitaire. So we have four selected. So we just click on remove. So some of these are Windows apps, and then we have the one desktop app. So we'll see what happens here. All right, so now you could choose if you want to have it removed for the current users or all users or the entire computer. So this is going to vary um, depending on what type of app it is and how it was installed. So you might not have the option for all users if it was just installed for one user and that type of thing. Alright, so we've got the game bar, solitaire, 7-zip, 
and Free Commander. So these two are desktop apps, these two are Windows apps. And we'll just do it for current users just for the sake of fun here. You can see it launches the uninstaller here. And same for 7-zip. Alright, so now those are gone. And now it does a rescan. Alright, so now if we uncheck desktop and windows and show installable Windows apps, you can see that we have News and Solitaire and the game bar are now able to be reinstalled if we want to do that. And then we could also remove them permanently. So like I said, this will vary depending on what type of app you're doing this for. And you can see you could also sort the columns as well. So if you want to check your install date to see what was going on here, you can see that some of them are not going to have it, most likely the some of these Windows apps here, but other ones will. So let's say you want to define your newest apps, or, or let's say you installed something recently and you don't remember what it was, you could sort by the install date here and then find it like that. All right, so as you can see, it's a nice little tool if you want to uninstall a bunch of things at once or view some other options that the Windows settings is not going to show you under the apps. And then also if you want to maybe reinstall something after you remove it. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download ONO App Buster and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.